I'm going to take you through diagnosing and replacing an X13 constant torque motor. Okay, we want to take the fan wire. It's a International Comfort Products. So we want to take this green wire and jumper it with R. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We have no action on that. We want to disconnect the high volt. You should probably disconnect the power, but I'm just going to unplug it. It's going to spark. Now on this unit, the blue wire is the speed wire. So you can tell right here, it actually says motor connections. It's on number two, which is medium. And right here, it says blue is for the motor tap, speed tap selection. White is for emergency heat. So we just wanna make sure that we're getting power to this wire right here, 24 volts, change it to VAC, and our common wire is this brown wire right here, right here, and you have 28 volts, so it's calling for the motor and the motor is not coming on. It's an X13 motor, there's no capacitor, you just replace the motor and plug it back in and that's it. Normally I would take this down to my truck and do it, but it's a little tight getting in this hole. the shaft spins. Make sure your pigtail is pointing in the correct direction. Always hand thread the screws a little bit. Make sure you don't cross thread them.
make sure you do not forget to tighten the set screw. Make sure it's on the flat part of the shaft. Spin it, make sure that it's uh, free spinning. Also the ground gets hooked up. It can go anywhere here. That's where it was, so that's where I put it. All right, I'm gonna plug it back in. I didn't turn the power off, so I'm gonna get a little bit of a spark. Let me see where it goes to four. And our speed temp goes to two, like it was. And voila, it turns on. Just gonna button this up now and I'm all done.